Hi guys, this is Relic. Uh, one of my new hobbies is uh, learning the Arduino uh, multiprocessor and programming environment. And uh, I might start a series of uh, periodic uh, do it yourself videos, uh, little tutorials to help you along. Uh, I just want to show you some things that. Uh, I wish I had somebody sitting next to me telling me uh, when I got started, which has only been about a week ago, uh, but I've had a background and uh, data acquisition microprocessors for about 20 years. Um, I bought the Mega 2650 just because I plan on doing a lot with this little board and the Uno uh, just isn't, doesn't have enough... Uh, inputs and outputs, analogs and digitals and things like that. Um, so I'm just going to go over some of the basics that I've found that I've needed. Um, first of all, here's what I've purchased. Uh, SaneSmart 3.2 uh, display TFT with touchscreen. So it's got an SD card reader on the back. The Mega Shield. And the Arduino itself. Right now I've just got a little uh, program running to fade a LED in and out. Just connects via your USB cable for power. Now when you start doing some of the t tutorials you're going to find that uh, you're going to need a lot of odd and odds and ends parts uh, which I'll get into in a second uh, pots transistors resistors capacitors diodes things of that nature speakers motors switches push buttons any kind of little components you can uh, think of you will end up using um, in some of these projects and you could spend a lot of money nickel and diamond yourself on eBay which to be honest I have done up until now uh, but I'm starting to find out bless you kitty that uh, there's a lot of stuff around the house that I could use uh, but first of all let me show you some of the basics that you will need once you get your board um, you will need the um, Arduino software environment uh, for the basics this is all you really need uh, I'm running 1.0.1 .1, and you can get that off of Arduino's homepage and I'll provide the links to everything that I show you here in the description box another program you'll need uh, when you get into some of the other tutorials uh, Jeremy Blum of Element 14 has some superb tutorials uh, it has been a major help to me but uh, I just found out that I am now needing the processing platform which operates a lot like uh, this very familiar very similar to uh, the Arduino environment they look almost identical I'll bring them side by side But it uses different libraries, slightly different syntax. Um, another thing you're going to need is, um, as I mentioned before, uh, parts. One thing I've gone ahead, gone ahead and done is uh, I don't always want to rely on the uh, USB for power, especially if I have the board doing something and I want to make it mobile uh, so you can either pick up at Radio Shack or on eBay you can pick up a uh, 9 volt uh, power supply jack or in my case I just used a universal power supply one of these ends fit nicely set it to 9 volts with ground on the sleeve positive on the pin 
So for instance, I've got this little bit of code running. I could disconnect this and just hook it up to either a battery or my universal power supply. Another thing that uh, comes up a lot, um, speakers, motors, uh, transistors, switches, things of that nature. I've been keeping a little box full of parts and it's slowly growing. Kind of hard to film and do this with one hand. Anyway, what do I have in here? Junk to most people, treasure trove to me. Uh, LEDs, there's a little 5 volt motor. I've got many motors. Uh, I keep old boards around. Here's a uh, simple speaker from a modem. Actually, it came off of this modem. An RCA cable, video cable, doesn't matter what color, but I'll show you what you can do with this in just a second. Um, your common resistors like uh, 1K, 10K, uh, 1K potentiometers, 10K potentiometers, uh, your 100, uh, 200 ohm resistors, uh, and your caps, 1 microfarad, 0.1 microfarad, 10 microfarad, uh, both polarized and not. Um, I just ripped this uh, speaker out of a, another device today and an LCD out of an old telephone. Going back to the uh, VGA cable, I know I'm kind of, uh, first of all, I know I'm, I'm covering a lot, but this is just little odds and ends things that I've helped. Uh, that I have found, sorry, that I find that have helped me out. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I found this very handy circuit. There's a TV library you can download, and you can uh, build this circuit. You just uh, cut the end off of a uh, RCA cable, ground goes to ground on the Arduino. Um, video um, comes off of your signal pin via a 470 ohm resistor and the sync signal is also connected to the uh, signal wire and these get plugged into different uh, pins 9, 11, 13 it depends on the order we know you have they have a chart down here and I've already tried that and I can write directly to my monitor through the AV port. Um, another thing I just came across today it's very handy if you have a wired GPS receiver the type that plugs into laptops uh, they can be modified to directly hook up to the TX RX lines and then you can do neat, neat things like reading your GPS coordinates and relaying that to a terminal or to an LCD. Um, another very invaluable tool and I spend a few hours each day in this is a uh, Google Circuit Lab. Um, with this you've got just about all your primitive components, uh, voltage sources, uh, signal uh, waveform generators, and uh, you can build and test your circuits here and you can do voltage and current plots over a specified uh, time period at specified resolution and uh, seconds and you can also do a frequency domain simulations uh, to simulate signal processing so basically you can draw up your circuits here before you breadboard and uh, you can test your circuits out before you actually uh, go to the trouble of getting the parts together and uh, and breadboarding it. Another thing I've been doing lately is 
salvaging every board that I can find that is of little use to me. Um, this was a old modem. And as I find things, I just number them, look them up, just check the package number. You can usually find a data sheet. But just right, found a regulator, high voltage regulator, an op amp, a very common uh, NPN transistor, a 3.3 volt regulator, um, audio jacks. Uh, I could pull these caps off if I needed uh, resistors. Things like that. Uh, I think this came from a uh, floppy drive, to be honest. I can get a quad op amp off of that. Multiplexer, demultiplexer. And I found a lot of uh, goodies on this board. Another quad op, op amp at the top. Uh, quad D type flip flop two of those, um, a four package AND gate, NAND gate, and the list just goes on. Um, what I'm wanting to do uh, over the next day or two is start learning how to use the LCD library. So instead of uh, buying a bunch of parts on eBay, I found a, a old telephone and let's just get an idea what kind of parts you can salvage. This was a old uh, Sprint um, telephone, probably about 10 years old, but the reason I wanted this one is they still have the old 16x2 LCDs. Actually this one has a microprocessor on board too. I'm um, getting an LED out of the deal. I'm also getting a keypad out of the deal with a keypad encoder, um, a speaker, a microphone, several momentary push button switches. There was uh, to hang up the receiver. You can desolder that, no problem. Um, Selector switches, there's two there, uh, single pole, double throw, and uh, just scores of various caps, uh, both polarized and not, uh, various transistors, um, some use for amplification, some use for switching, NPN, PNPs. Uh, I see a lot of Zener diodes on this uh, on this board. Um, so the point is, there's just a lot of stuff around the house that you would otherwise throw out. Um, I would suggest holding on to it because you never know when you're going to need these things for your projects. And once I get this LCD off and learn how to use the libraries. Um, I'll share that with you as well. I'm also going to try to salvage this uh, this keyboard right here for a uh, just to make a custom uh, serial um, digital keypad. Uh, I kept all the plastic parts and the keypad itself, so I'm sure that'll come in handy. Uh, but when I start doing something useful with all this stuff. I'll put out another video and as I stated before I'll, I'll put all the links in the description box uh, to some of these links. Have fun prototyping.